So standard, she's running, well, she was running 160 horsepower. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video and this is the one that I've been waiting for, hopefully you guys have been waiting for too. I've literally just arrived at Tune for Performance here in Watford, so a two hour drive from where I live. I had to stop at Fleet Services because my knees were getting a bit sore, um, but yeah we've made it. Sun is out which is great again, um, so yeah let's head on inside and see what my car is currently running and then get it remapped and pop some bangs, so I'm really really excited! Okay, so I'm inside tuning for performance at the moment. Another guy who's just leaving with a Series 3 comp, automatic. It was pushing out about 160 comp, that one, because it's a Series 3, so he's got 178, so that's not a bad increase. So let's go and see what mine does now. Uh, I think it's about to bring the car now, actually. So, yeah, let's take a look and see how it goes. Here he comes. Oh, she sounds loud in there. Oh. Be careful with her. Getting strapped up now on the old ramps for the remap. The old rolling road, shall I say? Always, he lets you test drive the car. Um, so this is literally first impression, guys. Let's see what it's like. It really feels more quicker, sort of down the bottom end, anyway. I don't even know how fast these flipping lanes are down here. Literally in Watford, I don't have a clue where I'm going. <laughs> Took me two hours to drive here as well. And I had any lunch, and it's I think nearly four o'clock. We're back on ourselves. Let's see what, what else we can do with this thing.
so it definitely feels quicker so you got it on rolling roads and from standard it's 160 um, so it's basically mapped it um, to 180 um, so we said there are a few little bits I can do to get a bit quicker um, yeah I can't hear the pops and bangs at the moment but I might because I'm not doing something window maybe I'm missing, missing something here Maybe I just need to give it some, I don't know. It's definitely been mapped in. Give it some now then, there's a bridge coming up as well. So guys, I'm literally finishing this video just as I've got time to finish this Abarth remap video. And um, yeah, here she is, my now remapped Abarth 595 Trofeo. So standard, she's running, well she was running 160 horsepower. Um, so as you guys know, hopefully from watching my previous videos, uh, modification wise, she's completely standard apart from a forge air induction kit, TMC Motorsports sports cat. Um, so yeah, apart from that, the car's completely standard, standard exhaust, um, yeah, so um, there are the only two modifications. Um, when Tony at June 4 Performance got her on a rolling road, she was running like 164, so those maybe modifications may have increased her performance by 4 horsepower, but a gain's a gain. Um, so yeah, um, the idea was to get a remapped um, to a nice uh, increase, and um, to get the pops and bangs uh, tune um, or mod added um, so yeah so Tony managed to get the car a nice 20 bhp increase so she's now one and 180 horsepower so like I said it's a 20 bhp increase really um, I was being very very optimistic in the previous video saying I wanted two out of 200 bhp out of her um, really that wasn't going to happen so um, 180 horsepower like I've already said in this video um, basically what I've got now is a competition at Trofeo Money because the Trofeo is one of those middle of the range abaths and then the competition is like one of the top of the range ones so that's not too bad when driving her you can definitely feel the torque steer coming back which is what I used to have on my 180 comp um, she definitely feels so much faster but there was a problem I said to Tony, he wanted the pops and bangs um, put on the car. Um, he put them on, um, and as you was, would have seen already um, from the GoPro footage, when I took her for a test drive, um, I couldn't hear anything. Now, with the sports cat now added, um, that has automatically added more, well, it's made the car hum a whole lot more louder, which is great. It's also sort of increased the sort of uh, burble that come, came out naturally out of the new record monitor system this above has. So, um, the sports cap made a lot of a difference, um, so I couldn't really tell whether the pops and bangs I was, well not bangs, but the pops that I was hearing was artificial from Tony or where it was just natural which was now coming from the sports cat. Um, so yeah, I kept, came back and I said Tony, I can't quite hear any sort of new pops and bangs, um, but I said maybe it's something I'm not doing, maybe I'm not giving the car, I should be giving the car more beans as such. Um, so anyway, I left it at that, I drove the car home, um, it did sound, obviously it felt different because it was faster, it sounded a bit more different but I didn't know whether that's just me imagining it um, and it turns out it was because um, I've had the car, like I say, remapped and back from that for about a week now and there are no sort of artificial pops and bangs which 
doesn't really bother me because like I say she's a whole, whole lot more louder now thanks to the TMC sports cats now on the car um, she's obviously now faster um, but and she she does she is making like I say because the sports cat she is now sort of naturally popping and banging more which is sort of better than having an artificial pop and bang tune um, so anyway I phoned up Tony and I said um, you know my car I'm not upset or anything but my car isn't hasn't got the pops and bangs on it I know you said you uh, mapped it in um, but there's nothing <laughs> there's no like I can't tell the difference between like the normal I know there's definitely no artificial noise coming out and basically what he said is this is one of the latest obviously a bath engines it's a Euro 60 I believe and with having the new record ones so it's also a lot of electronics in there um, so he said obviously he did put it on but maybe he needs to put it on a bit more aggressively for the car to then properly sort of accept it because although he's put it on obviously the car isn't accepting it, it needs to be on a higher level pops and bangs so at least be thinking do I go back and get the pops and bangs because as you guys probably know, it's not very good for a catalytic converter. Um, or do I just stay as, as it is with the sports car, making the car already louder, adding much more to the original pops that were there anyway? So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Should I go back and get the artificial pops and bangs on? Or shall I leave her as she is? She does sound a whole lot louder compared to how she used to sound. And I think I can live with that. Um, so yeah let me know what you think yeah i'm happy with the performance results 160 car to 180 like i said got a top of the range car for middle of the range money that's all good however the re uh, the pops and bangs uh, tune didn't quite work out as well as i thought um so yeah it's just one of those things um it worked for my parents because they've got obviously a slightly older car different engine different exhaust whereas mine's obviously more modern more electronics and that obviously stops play and obviously cars are trying to be more emission friendly and um they're not the cut the baths they don't want sort of obviously pops and bangs going on which makes it harder for them to then be put on and forced on onto ECU as it were so um, yeah I'm happy I can't complain but let me know your thoughts shall I go back and get pops and bangs or shall I leave her as she is with the sports cat producing nat natural pops and more burbles so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video um yeah make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're the first to know about whenever a video goes up onto my automotive youtube channel uh make sure you follow me on instagram like share subscribe and i'll see you in another one guys thanks for watching peace thumbs up bye One sixty. oh it's you you scared me um so yeah in the end uh so you're making me nervous. <laughs>